What is going on everybody, Beast HD here, and today I'm just bringing you guys a really quick video, and I'm going to be showing you some of my favourite keyboard shortcuts to use in Photoshop CS6. And uh, keyboard shortcuts really do make working in Photoshop a lot quicker and a lot easier. So um, I'm just basically going to give you guys a list of a few of the keyboard shortcuts I find myself using in basically every one of the projects I make. So um, just before we begin, all of these keyboard shortcuts will be a combination of control and control is the CTRL button, it is at the bottom left hand corner of your keyboard and also if you are lucky enough to be able to afford a Mac, um, then I do believe control on a Mac is command. So basically every time I say control in this video, you just go ahead and press command instead. So uh, just before I jump into Photoshop, I'm just going to turn off this webcam so you do not have to suffer through seeing my face for the whole thing. So uh, anyways, once we are here in Photoshop, just give me one sec, I'm just going to close these. Once we are here in Photoshop, your first um, shortcut is going to be Control N. What Control N does, it'll bring up your new template window here, so you can basically enter in your width, your height, all that good stuff, and then hit OK, and you get yourself a nice new template here. Once we reach this template, we can then hit Control O on the keyboard. This will bring up the open menu. It'll probably start you off at the desktop, but you can just basically go into any folder on your computer, search for the image that you want to bring into Photoshop, and just bring it in by, by pressing Control O. So that's another pretty cool thing. Um, I already have two images in Photoshop here, so I'm just going to continue along with these keyboard shortcuts. So my first real keyboard shortcut is the zooming. So um, Zooming can be used for a lot of different situations. If you want to see the proper quality of the actual pixels and stuff, then you can do that. Or if you want to kind of rub out, use the Arrays tool and rub out a section of a picture, then it is really handy to zoom in. So basically, to zoom in, I'm going to press Control and then 1 on the keyboard. This is going to zoom right into the actual pixels of the image. Once I'm here to navigate around the picture, I'm going to hold down on the space button and then right click and you can just drag around the image. So you have to be holding space to do this. Then if you would like to go back to the original size, we're going to hit control zero on um, the keyboard. So that will bring you back to the original picture like so. And if you just want to zoom in a little bit, then we are going to hold control and then hit the plus sign. This will zoom you in and then to zoom out, pretty obvious, we're going to hit keep holding control and we're going to hit the minus sign so that will zoom you in and out like so and then if you're ever zoomed in and you want to go back to the original size once again just control zero on the keyboard and that will bring you right back to here so that is a really handy shortcut to know you can use it for a lot of different situations and um, yeah it's just really really easy to use and I do find myself using that in basically every project I do so the next um, keyboard shortcut here probably if you are into Photoshop and have experience with it you probably will know this one but it is control T this is going to be the free transform tool and uh, basically once we hit control T we can go up to the boxes and we can rotate the image we can do basically anything we want to the image by uh, the control T and uh, my Photoshop is stupid and this happens sometimes you just get random lines everywhere that's what I get for having a cracked version <laughs> Yeah, but anyways, so Control T lets us do everything. We can rotate it. You can right click on the image and say flip horizontal if you want, and all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, that's basically the Control T. That is the free transform tool. That's another really useful one. And um, if you have any knowledge of Photoshop, then you probably already knew that one. But I thought I'd throw it in for you beginners out there. So the next one here is going to be for any tool that uses a brush. So for tools such as the eraser, the brush itself, so anything you get this little circle on, what we are going to do is we are going to just tap the brackets beside the letter P on your keyboard. So um, basically the bracket to the right of the letter P, the two brackets, they're like, I don't know how to describe them, but go to the letter P on your keyboard and the two brackets beside it. We're going to tap the right bracket to make the brush bigger and the left bracket to make it smaller so um, you don't have to hold control for this one so once again just the two brackets beside the letter P we're just going to tap the left one to make uh, the brush small the right one to make it big it's just a really quick way you don't have to go up in here and start changing up the slider uh, it's just a really fast way of changing the brush size so <clears throat> now the next one I'm not really sure if it's classified as a keyboard shortcut but I do believe it is very handy and it is the blending options so if we go here and then we select say darken 
it does this to the picture but I don't want this I think this looks stupid but instead of having to go in and selecting them one by one if you just hit the down arrow it does it for you you can just really quickly scroll through them all so this is just by selecting the down arrow or just hitting the down arrow make sure before you hit the down arrow that you actually have gone in here and selected one of them and then you can just hit the down arrow like so and it'll change them out really quick and it's just a really good way of kind of cycling through all the options and getting the best one that you want to use um, yeah so <laughs> that's basically it for that oh did not mean to do that and then what else do we have oh yeah um, another really useful thing I use in pretty much every single thing I do is control U this, if you hit Control U on the keyboard, it'll bring up the hue and saturation. Then you just come down here to this Colorize, select the Colorize box, and you can drag the hue up and down to change the color, or you can drag the saturation up to just change the color again. So uh, this is really handy. You can basically bring in any picture you want to change the color of it, or if you have font or something, you can change the color of it. So it is really versatile. You can use it in basically all situations. And um, yeah, uh, that's another handy one. And then another really handy um, keyboard shortcut is Control Z. What this basically does is it deletes something if you do it and you don't want it there anymore. Um, so I just highlighted or I just selected all this stuff. I don't want this selected, so I'm just going to hit Control uh, Z. And also, if you select something and want to delete it, then obviously just press the backspace button. And then once you've done that, you still have all these little marching ants kind of, uh, you still have your selection there. To get rid of this selection, we're going to hit Control D. So Control D, that will deselect everything, and I want to go back. So once again, Control Z, Control. I think it Control Z just lets you step back once. So it's basically a one-time undo button. So, but it's pretty handy if you just make a stupid mistake instead of going up into your history layer or hitting a what is it, File Undo or Edit Undo or whatever it is. Um, yeah, just hit Control Z and it steps you back one step. So um, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, they're just kind of the main um, keyboard shortcuts I find really handy. So if you're a beginner, then do try learn some of them and incorporate them into your projects in Photoshop. Because I guarantee uh, once you get fluid with them, once you kind of start just doing them out of habit, then you will really speed up uh, with your projects in Photoshop. So I really hope you enjoyed and I will also be bringing a top five features um, video very soon so basically the top five features that I use the most in Photoshop I'll be bringing that soon and that'll be more of a tutorial type of thing I'll basically be showing you some of the most common features in Photoshop and how to use them and all that good stuff so uh, yeah this is just a really quick video because I have exams at the moment so I can't be spending a very long time doing videos but I really hope you enjoyed if you did do please leave a like and I will see you guys later bye bye